investigation. Hi, uh, I'm the owner of the Avatar Slim Jammies, and this is a little tutorial on how to uh, set up terrain um, on your standalone PC. And as you see, I've set up terrain lots of times by now, actually, because I keep farting with my, my sim. It's really easy, it's just a grayscale, and you can use any kind of software that draws. <laughs> Uh, and you make it uh, a big square and you chop it up into four pieces 256 by 256 for each piece and then you uh, upload it to your sim and then you have land that's how it is so here we go okay here we are on my desktop it's a mess to look at it. It's got so many programs on it that you're probably freaking. Anyhow, to do this, all you need to make a terrain file is, uh, well, I use Photoshop, but anything that you can basically paint um, in different shades of gray all the way up to black uh, makes it work. So here we go. I'm going to get out my Photoshop and start. So the uh, program, it likes stuff uh, to be chopped up. Uh, the way the map works, it's four sims and the terrain uh, map for each sim is 256 pixels each. So you can start at uh, 1024 and then you chop it up. So you make one big square um, and make, uh, make your terrain on that. So here we go. I'm going to start with a black background. This one's grey. I was making a sign last night. Okay, so how it works is uh, the lighter grey you go, the higher up the terrain is. So black is your ocean. White would be the highest mountain peak um, in your sim. So if you want to make some islands, you kind of layer it up. So I'm going to do that now with my, uh, my brush in Photoshop. Basically, I think I'm going to make a little pool in the middle there, so I'm going to erase a bunch of it. There you go. As I, you can see, I'm making some areas higher and higher. Uh, the one that I just did, I'm going to make it to uh, try and make it flat on top, flat, high elevation. And the rest, I'm going to try and make a little bit more like sea level and make a. On the long part, I'm going to try and make a, a tall, skinny area uh, that peaks at the top, so I can make a waterfall going down it later on. Believe it or not, that's almost done. Maybe I'll make it a little bit neater. Um, and then you apply a Gaussian blur to it. And that's the next step. So I'm gonna fart around with that flat top for a minute and then I'm gonna 
blur it. I wanted more flatness at the other one, but this is just a... You can do this as many times as you like until you're satisfied with what you want. So this is just an example, and so I think I'll go with this. Now I'm going to save it this size, but I'm also going to downsize it to 512. I made it 1024 because it's just easier to draw the bigger it is. Um, but now I'm going to downsize it a bit. by 512. Um, that's it right there. Just do it 512 by 512 and save it um, as a, a PNG or something like that. Um, and then when I convert it, I'm gonna, there's another step to this, I'm going to convert it to a bitmap. So you can save it as a bitmap if you want, it really doesn't matter. Okay, next step. We're gonna cut it into four pieces because we need to um, upload it to the server uh, in the right size. And the server wants 256 by 256 square bitmap um, on each piece of the uh, uh, of the mega region. So that's four sims. I'm basically making I uh, four sims. I slicing up one picture. This is an image splitter called Tile Image and it was free and um, I guess at the end of this I'll post uh, information about the URLs at the very end of this. You can see I made a bunch of other files that I already used uh, so I've been at it for a while here uh, trying to make just the right island messing with it. And you can see it's 256 wide, 256 high for tiles. And it's just gonna cut it up for them. Okay, I'm inherently lazy, so I'm gonna have it uh, save these four pieces directly to my C drive, uh, the main directory, because I've got to do a bunch of typing next in order to load those textures onto my sim. Okay, so uh, I've done my island one, two, three, and four. So those are my four pieces. Now, unfortunately, the way I have my sim set up, I, you have to think a little bit spatially and look at the little pieces in order to upload the uh, map, the terrain map, in the right order. So the numbers on the My Island 1, 2, 3, 4 don't correspond to the numbers on my map. Okay, here we are, back on my sim. So I'm standing on Pixel Junkies 1, uh, and I'm going to upload that piece. And thankfully, this time, it appears that for this piece, I can just install it. Not sure how high it's going to be, so in order to avoid being shot out into space, I'm going to elevate myself above the terrain. I'm going to lose my block. So, what you need to do is load it region by region. So, you need to type in a command to change the region, um, load the terrain, and move to the next. no memory, so I have to look up the commands uh, in the server command list that opens it. So give me a second. So here are all the little uh, commands you need to set up your region. So I need terrain load. So the piece looks like what I need is my island 2 to load for this piece. So I changed to region, pixel island 1, and now I'm going to install this piece for this map grid. There we go. There we 
there's one piece. Well, I don't know what all that is. I think it's my um, browser catch. So it's not as nice and smooth looking as I like. And I'm going to log this out for a second and try and get the thing to update. Okay, so the command I want is terrain multiply. It just lowers or raises everything by uh, uh, a factor of one or below one or above one. So one is no change, 1.5 is elevated by 0.5 times more, uh, lowering it would be 0 0.5 and that would lower it down in half. That's too much for me. So we're going to lower it by 0.85. I'm lowering it by like 0.15, I guess. I can't add. So I'm doing terrain multiply 0 0.85, and that'll lower all these pieces down a little bit. I lowered the wrong piece, so I'm raising it back up again. And there we are. I just lowered everything by a factor of point about one five, I guess. Oh, and there's the box that I buried. Well, that's it. I hope you learned something and can now update your terrain. The next video I'll change the textures and height map height of the textures.